The age-old question, how do you break in a new baseball glove? We're going to answer this question with a few things in mind. Glove longevity, glove shape, and player preference. You've probably heard some of the extreme break-in methods that people use, such as throwing it in the oven or the microwave or driving their car over it, putting olive oil or shaving cream all over the glove. And for a lot of reasons, we highly discourage those methods. Or maybe you've heard of some of the more moderate break-in techniques such as mallet work or steaming or rubber bands and things like that. Now, understand the best way to break in a baseball glove is to simply play catch with it. But what if the glove is so stiff you can't even squeeze it or you left your glove in the rain or you lost it and you need this glove ready like right now? A lot of glove stiffness comes from the pinky and thumb inserts as well as the palm padding. Gloves either have a one hinge break in or a two hinge break in. One hinge usually being more shallow pocket, two hinge usually being a little bit deeper. And this just comes back down to player preference and glove shape. Step one to breaking in a glove is to create those hinges. All we have to do is fold the glove where we want those hinges to be created. And while you're creating those hinges, go ahead and loosen up the palm pad by grinding it out like this. Now, this method is a lot easier with a mallet and a pounding pad, but we understand those aren't exactly common tools. So some things that you can replace the mallet with would be like a dumbbell or even the end of a bat. Or to replace the palm pad, use something like a pillow or a yoga mat. Just make sure whatever you use, it will not scratch or scruff or mark your new glove. So same rules apply. Now we gotta start creating the pocket. So all you gotta do is take a baseball, throw it into the glove a billion times, or use a mallet. And the last method that we're gonna mention is gonna be the rubber band method. All you need is a baseball, put it in the pocket of the glove, wrap in rubber bands, leave it for a few hours. Hand your glove will look like this. All of these break-in methods are a little easier if you put a touch of glove conditioner on beforehand because it makes the leather a little bit more flexible. Guys, you don't need a lot. Just get fingers worth, just spread it all over the glove. Try to make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies, especially the laces. And that is the basics to breaking in a baseball glove. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment. If you guys got any videos you want to see in the future, throw it in the comments.